Okay, we're going to do the lesson that we did today, graph square root and cube root functions. We're going to start off with our base parent graph of y equals the square root of x. We want to start off by doing an xy chart. We're going to pick the points negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 4. If you plug in negative 1 into your calculator, if you do the square root of negative 1, you get out an error message or a null set. You cannot graph that point. Now we're going to plug in 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Plugging in 1, the square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 2 is 1.4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So we're going to graph those points. We're going to start off at 0, 0. And then 1, 1, 2, 1 1.4. And then the point 4, 2. And then we're going to graph our square root graph. And now we want to state what the domain and the range is. Now remember that the domain has to do with our x values. And on this, our x values are starting at 0, and they're going to the right, so they're getting bigger. So it's going to be greater than or equal to 0. Our range is our y values, and our y values are starting at 0. And they are also getting bigger, so those are going to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. Now try the next slide on your own. So hit pause, give this one a try. Okay, this is what your graph should look at now. You have your XY chart and then your graph. We need to do our domain and range again. Our domain starts at 0 again, so X is greater than or equal to 0. Again, because we're going to the right and getting bigger numbers. Our range is going to be Y is greater than or equal to 0, because we have our starting point at 0 and then going up and we get all the numbers that are bigger than 0. The next slide, we're going to spice it up a little bit, and we have the square root of x minus 6 plus 2. So we're going to revisit our friends Hank and Kelly, remembering that Hank lies and Kelly tells the truth. So we want to start off with our starting point. What's ever with x is Hank. So Hank is going to be a positive 6, and Kelly is a positive 2. So this time, instead of 0, 0 being our starting point, we're going to have the point 6, 2 be our starting point. So we're going to put a dot there, and now we're going to do our xy chart. And 6 is going to be our starting point, and then 2. Then we're going to go 7, 8, and then 10. And we're going to plug those in and get out the different numbers. So if we plug 7 in, we should get out 3. If we plug 8 in, we should get out 3.4. And if we plug in 10, we should get 4 out. And then we're going to graph those. So we have the point 7, 3, the point 8, and 3.4, and then the point 10, 4. And then we draw our graph. Again, for the domain and the range, our domain and our range are going to change this time around because our starting point is at a different point. Our domain is going to be x is greater than or equal to, and our first starting point here is 6, so it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 6. Our range is going to be y is greater than or equal to 2, whatever our Kelly point is. Okay, take a moment, try this one on your own, and we'll come back in a moment with the correct answer. Okay, so we found our Hank and Kelly point, our starting point to be the point 3, negative 4, and then we do our XY chart, find our points. Now we do our domain and our range. Our domain, we're going to be starting at 3, and we're going bigger, so we're going to get X is greater than or equal to 3. The Y this time around is going to be slightly different. And so this one is going to be Y, and we're starting at negative 4, but this time our Ys are going down so this is going to be less than or equal to negative 4. Now you should be able to go back and look at the original equation in red and be able to determine from that equation why the y's are going down and why it's y is less than. So take a moment, think about that. And you should be able to go back to think about how we did parabolas 
and know that the coefficient there, the negative 2, because it's negative, means it's going to be going upside down and be a reflection across the x-axis. Also for this problem, you can continue and do the x-y charts on your graphing calculator. You would go to y equals and type in your equation, negative 2 times the square root of x minus 3, and then minus 4, making sure when you're typing it in that that negative 4 is not underneath the root. If you do that, if you keep it underneath the root, you're going to get the wrong answer. So make sure that negative 4 is outside of the root. After you type in the equation into your y equals, you can go to graph and you can see the graph and it should mirror what our green is here on the graph. Then you can go to second graph and it hits the table and then that will tell you what your xy chart is. So if you don't want to go through and figure that all out yourself, you can do that on your graphing calculator. Okay, now we're going to cover cube roots. So we have y equals the cube root of x. Same steps imply. Here are Hank and Kelly. There is no Hank and Kelly, so our starting point is 0, 0. You're going to do an xy chart. But this time, instead of being our starting point, this is going to be our middle point, 0, 0. And we want to do numbers to the left of that and to the right of that. So if we type in 1, the cube root of 1 is 1. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. The cube root of 2 is 1.3. And the cube root of negative 2 is negative 1.3. So we plot these on our graph. We have the point 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 1 1.3. And then the point negative 1, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 1.3. And our graph is going to kind of look like a curved S. We also need to define or to find the domain and range on this. The domain is going to be all real numbers because you can plug any number your little heart desires into that and you can find the cubed root of it. It does not matter if it's positive or negative. All of them work. So our domain is all reals. Our range, any number you plug in, you can get any number you want out. So our range is also going to be all reals. Okay, I would like you to try... This one on your own, y equals negative 3, cubed root of x minus 2, plus 4. Find out what your Hank and Kelly point is, then do an xy chart and graph it. So pause the video and come back to it whenever you are completed. Okay, welcome back. You should have the Hank and Kelly point to be 2, 4. Again, that's going to be our middle point right here where we're going to start all of our graphing from. Then you do your xy chart. Again, you can get that from your graphing calculator. You plot your points, and this is what your graph should look like. Now realize that this is a little bit backwards. And again, why is it backwards? You need to think to yourself. Go back to the original equation. Because that coefficient is a negative, that's why our graph is reflected. So it's kind of upside down of what it should be. Also, this is called a vertical stretch. A vertical stretch is indicated by having a number greater than 1 or less than negative 1 as your coefficient. So that 3 there is telling us that this is going to be a vertical stretch. And then our domain is all reals and our range is all real numbers for this. Okay, so if you're in my honors class, you can continue on. Or if you would like to stretch yourself in, your, my, in my regular class and would like to try this, please feel free to continue listening. Otherwise, the first three people in each class to come in and say cowabunga dude to me tomorrow, you can get extra credit. Okay. For this, what we want to do is find the domain and range without graphing. So we start off and we still do the Hank and Kelly. We find our starting point. So 7, 3 is our starting point. This is a positive here, so we know our graph is going to look like this. So you have to visualize that in your head because we don't want you to actually do an actual graph with this. So our domain is going to keep getting bigger. So our domain, our x's, are going to be greater than or equal to 7. Our range, because this is positive, is going to be y is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, so I want you to try one of those on your own as well. y equals negative 2 thirds root x minus 3 plus 2. Okay, you got to think how this graph is going to look in your brain. Without actually graphing it yourself, you need to visualize it in your head. We start our graph at the point 
3, 2. And we think to ourselves, this here is a negative coefficient. So it's going to be a reflection across the x-axis. So it's going to look like that. That should be the mental image in your head. So we need to find our domain and our range. So our domain, again, deals with the x's. So the x's are going to be greater than or equal to 3. Our range is going to be y is, in this case, because it's a reflection across the x-axis, is going to be less than or equal to 2. So that is the lesson on square roots and graph roots, uh, cube roots and square root graphs. I hope you enjoyed this marvelous lesson. I'm just getting the bugs out. I'm very nervous, so this is not going to be as much fun as they hopefully will be in the future. Do your homework tonight. Make sure it's done. And welcome back tomorrow. Have a good night.